Hey guys, I'm getting my dental veneers put on today and I'm a little nervous about it because I'm not too happy with the initial results. I went in last week, they gave a whole scan and they put on these temporary veneers right here and then this half fell off and I was very shocked because they shaved my tooth down uh, almost to the nub which I didn't, uh, I was led to believe that it's just gonna be like a small portion, but uh, it's like half the size and that really upset me, but I'm now uh, forced to continue with this. So let's hope it turns out well. If you see this right here, see that tooth and this, they were actually quite a bit larger and they were, they were shaved down. Uh, I was led to believe that it would just be like a like a small amount that would be taken off. No, I'm afraid to, I'm afraid to see what my teeth look like underneath these three veneers right here. I am so scared to see what it's like because veneers are not permanent. These will have to replace every 10 years or so unless they crack or break before then. I wasn't quite sure if I was going to make a video about this uh, because, I don't know, I just didn't think people would be interested. Um, but now I think some of you might be interested. So these veneers are costing me 10000 baht each, which is roughly $300. Ah, look at that, look at that. I'm still not happy with that little, it looks like a baby tooth. Um, so. 10,000 baht per tooth, uh, minimum six, and I am doing six. Um, I'm very nervous because uh, not only have I been given baby teeth again, they told me last week that uh, they may need to shave down my bottom teeth. And uh, that's gonna be a big no-no after knowing how much teeth they've shaved off. Um, so hopefully we'll have we'll work around that because I'm not getting the bottoms done at least not yet You know and, and my smile wasn't that bad, but I, I did have this one crooked tooth And that was a little vain and I figure why not I'll do it here because in the United States The same procedure would probably cost Maybe twelve to twenty thousand dollars and over here. It's cost me less than two thousand all in I better catch the train and head over there right now. I'm actually late for my appointment. If you want to know where this dentist I'm going is at, it's on Soy 5. I just got off the BTS at the Nana station. And it's probably a 10 minute walk. It's actually pretty close to the station. That's it right there, that's Soy 5. If you see this McDonald's, that's where you have to go and make a, and turn on. So, uh, as I mentioned, I wasn't sure if um, if I wanted to do a video on this. And I still don't know if I can finish the video on this because I don't know if they'll let me record. So, if they don't let me record uh, the inside, I'll just uh, post the results at the end. You know, this could be a eight minute video, it could be a three minute video, who knows. But. Uh, Soy 5, which is here in Bangkok off uh, BTS Nana, I really like. They have this 24-hour restaurant called Foodland Supermarket. I'm not kidding, it's open 24 hours. That's it right there. And the prices are insanely cheap for what you get. Maybe I'll stop by in there afterwards, who knows. Uh, but if you're into Middle Eastern food, like I am, I really love kebabs. Uh, rice peel off, you know, all that good stuff, saffron rice. Uh, this is probably one of the main spots for Middle Eastern food. Take a quick look. <sighs> Arabian Market, Jasmine Arabian Market. This is uh, what, Sports on 7? Gull uh, Gulliver's Traveler, yeah. Gulliver's Traveler. Um, 
I was here last night eating at uh, this place called the uh, Hafid restaurant and it was raining up a storm my my shoes got all wet my socks got wet I was drenched my umbrella sucked but uh, it's a fun area to be in and we're coming up to the dental office right now that's it right there Bangkok smile Now I'm starting to get nervous. It's a pretty nice facility. I wonder if this is a smoking area. Hmm. So the place is called Bangkok Smile. Uh, they have several locations here in Bangkok. Uh, this one is fairly close to where I live, it's like a 10 minute train ride. And um, this was the least expensive place I, I found for porcelain veneers. Now, uh, there are two types of veneers, actually there might be more, but the two main ones are composite, which last about two years. They, the teeth can get stained and they're not as strong but they're very inexpensive and they will give you that movie star smell that you're looking for immediately. Porcelain veneers are made out of porcelain and they're much stronger. They last on average 10 to 15 years. Uh, they will not get stained or it's very hard to stain them. Uh, and uh, I was still hesitant to get these because they told me not to bite with my front teeth uh, like hard foods, like don't bite into an apple because that may break the veneer yeah so i'm ruining perfectly good teeth that will last me a long time to uh get a nice smile uh i'm just i hope after we're done today it'll look better than this right here look at that Ugh, i hate that this is the first time i've ever been to a dental office that has an outdoor smoking area. This, this is a smoking area while you wait. Interesting, huh? Well, I'm not having a cigarette. And I definitely wouldn't have one uh, right before I'm about to see the dentist. As mentioned earlier, I decided to get my veneers done here because of the huge cost difference. Um, I was made to be a bit more comfortable because my dentist here studied in the United States in the state of New York. Uh, she's been practicing for about eight years. Um, you know, there, but I, in hindsight, well, I still don't know how the results are gonna turn out. They might turn out perfect and I hope they do. But um, if I had to do it over again, I probably would have just got it done in the States uh, for a couple of reasons. Um, there is a procedure where you can, you can get dental veneers without having your, your teeth sh uh, shaved down uh, is very costly. It can be upwards of $20,000, but uh, that's something that, uh, you know, I now have ruined perfectly good teeth for life. Uh, for life, that's, it's forever. Uh, on top of that, if the veneers ever break, you know, I was told don't bite down on hard foods like, like apple or stuff like that. If they break, I still have to get them repaired in the United States, which can run, you know, fifteen hundred, three thousand dollars per tooth. Uh, and now, if I was living here, of course, I mean, I could always fly back, and it might be more cost-effective to fly back and get them re replaced or fixed here. That's another issue for me. But you know, it's something I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted that movie star smile, and uh, I guess we're about to go up soon. So. If I can record the inside, I will. If not, you'll just see the, uh, the after photo. I don't know what to say it's either sometimes. <laughs> yeah, it's very hard to create. We're talking about uh, making YouTube channel. Okay, so thank you. Hi, hi, hi. There you go, and that's them right there. So we'll see how it turns out. Uh,
side. So this is what it looks like. Ah, it's not that bad. Okay. And now we're putting in the the veneers. Yes. Okay. This might smell fun. Let's see it after. Okay. Um. rinsing they put no can I'm in the elevator going to the second floor I need to come back in two hours and get my little uh, guard I'll explain that in a minute and I'll do the full reveal uh, as soon as I'm done here so I just got done with uh, getting my porcelain veneers, and this is the reveal. That's it right there. All of that, I'm extremely happy with the results of the veneers. Uh, it cost me $17.50 for that whole set. I have to get a night guard, uh, which is something I have to put in my mouth for 30 days as I sleep. To make sure that the that the teeth don't grind and break the veneers uh, all together with the night guard and the consultation fee as well as the veneers i paid roughly 1900 dollars just the set of veneers was 1750 the night guards 150 dollars for the consultation uh yeah so that's it i'm very excited about uh about everything and i'm very happy with the results oh and uh before I end the video, let me show you Foodland. It's right here. This is the spot that's open 24 hours a day where you can come and get decent food at a decent price. And this is it. This is the spot right here, Foodland Supermarket. We never close. And I just, I love the ambiance of this. This is it right here. And I'm just gonna show you, show you some of the good deals they have here. Look at that. Breakfast, right there. English breakfast, 119 baht, which is roughly three, $3.50. Look at this here. Fish fingers, grilled fish, country ribs. Oh, I've had this before. T-bone steak with fries. Less than $10 right now. Meatloaf. Uh, I mean, they, they just have a lot of food. And this right here, that's like 20% of the menu. They have a lot of international foods. It's a great place to go, you know, to go to if you're, uh, if you're out late at night and you're hungry at three o'clock in the morning, that's a spot. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching this. It's a bit different than what, I'm, than what I usually do. But, uh, you know, if you like the video, hit that like button. Subscribe. You get uh, notifications as to when my videos drop. And leave a comment below if you have any questions on, uh, on the veneers or any dental procedures here. Uh, they're probably one of the most highly recommended dental clinics in the area. A lot of foreigners use them and they're very budget friendly. Anyway, this is Bruce with Eat, Drink, Travel and obviously some dental work. And I'll talk to you guys later. Look at that. It's gorgeous.